I sorted out all these three questions from BASE 2019. So without wasting much time, let us start with the first one. We want to convert these two units of fraction into a single fraction. But in arithmetics, once you have common denominators, you are free to add or subtract the numerators. But in this expression, our denominators are entirely different. So what we are going to do here, we are going to multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. So we have 4x over 12 plus. We are going to multiply this expression, both numerator and denominator by 3. So we have 3x divided by 12. Since we have a common denominator, we can take one of the denominator, which is 12. Then we add the numerators together. 4x plus 3x is 7x. So 7x over 12 is the simplified form of these two units of fractions. So let us move on to the second one, which is this. We want to make sure that they have common denominator, but this is 24 and this is 12. If we divide 24 by 2, we are going to obtain 12. So we are going to divide both numerator and denominator by 2. 2x minus 2 over 12 plus. If you divide this term by 2, you're going to obtain x plus. This divided by 2 is 4 and 24 divided by 2 is 12. So now we have common denominators. We take one of the denominators, which is 12. Then we add the numerators together. 2x plus x is 3x. Then minus 2 plus 4 is positive 2. So this is the simplified form of these two units of fractions. And we cannot factorize this further because we don't have any common factor. Now let us move on to the last one which is under word problems. A man spends one-fourth of his monthly income on school fees and three-fifths of this income on his home affairs. What fraction of his income is left? Actually, we don't know his monthly income, so we can represent that with x. So let his monthly income be x. One-fourth of this was spent on school fees and three-fifths of this was spent on home affairs. So what fraction of this amount is left? So the total amount x minus the, his total spendings. And the total spendings are uh, one-fourth of this total amount plus three-fifths of the same amount. So this is x minus. We are going to deal with the parentheses first. Uh, if you times this by 5, you're going to obtain 20 because we want to make sure that we have common denominator. So we have 5x over 20 plus. We are going to times numerator and denominator by 4. So 4x times 4 is 12x over 20. This is equal to x minus 5x plus 12x is 17x over 20. Again, we can rationalize this. We are going to multiply numerator and denominator by 20 so that we have common denominator. This is equal to 20x over 20 minus 17x over 20. 20x minus 17x is 3x over 20. Therefore, we say 3 over 20 of his monthly income is left. 3 over 20 of his total monthly income. In my next class, I'm going to discuss based on algebraic equations. And don't forget to share to your learning colleagues. Subscribe to my channel. Press the bell icon so that you will not miss anything.